it's an issue that is not here, but let's look at it. It's an issue that is not here. It's an issue that I wanted us to look at. You threatened. You took you took guns and cutlasses. You took guns and cutlasses. The last time I heard somebody for your party say cudgels also. You to do, you to, have to, no to the Electoral Commission. Today you sit here. That was when? In 2008? You, you, in 2008. Okay. You know, don't, don't pretend as if uh, we... You mean they stampeded the Electoral so Commission into declaring you, the election? You don't if we are pretend referring, as if, if, if we are referring to your past, you resist. Fly oh, Emirates somebody, from you, Ghana for let. Thanks to, to a special partnership with Ecobank. So this is what you need to do. Ecobank and Emirates are saying that please book online at www.emirates.com slash gh slash ecobank, pay at any ecobank branch and enjoy some 15% of economy and 17% of business and first class seats. That's for you also. That's for Maliba. That's for all of us. Ecobank. The African Bank. I'll read this uh, at the end of uh, at the, at the end of uh, the discussion also. But this one is not part of what I'm supposed to look at, even though there's things about electricity and how things have not been done well in electrification projects. It's about what the president raised in an interview with TV3, I believe, on Monday morning, for which uh, he talked about um, the debt ratios and how the flag bearer and even the leading members of the MPP had been going around just mentioning figures about Ghana's debt portfolio and how much uh, his NDC-led administration has borrowed, actually mm. even from the time they took office from 2009 to date. And he thought that was a bit preposterous. I mean, those are my words. He didn't say that, though. But Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, who is a, a vice presidential candidate of, uh, of the MPP, seemed to have reacted. Uh, he feels that according to what the reports of the newspapers and the, and the various uh, news portals are, that the president even needs a better briefing for his own uh, managers of the economy, apparently uh, suggesting that the president just doesn't seem to be aware of the state of borrowing by his own administration. Is that the case? I'm asking you. Well, uh, I think that this matter... Uh, Is overflowed? Yeah, really, because what Serious? has Dr. Baumia said? Coming in, you owe, we owe 9, 9.5. Yes. Today, it is in excess of 99. As at, as at December, uh, as at December 2015, uh, our debt stock was over 99 billion. Okay. All that Dr. Baumia is saying is that in that period, if you look at the borrowing that has gone on in dollar terms at the time you borrowed, it amounts to 37 billion. Of course, we admit that some of it, it is not static. You pay some, you, you, you take some. This is exactly the point we are making. We are saying that that is the quantum. And what we are doing is that we want you to relate all that you have done. Today, the NDC has a green book. Uh, His Excellency, the President, touts by himself as having done something that no leader has done in this country. His Excellency, the President, tells us that for, for, from 1951 or from Gergesberg's time till now, there, are five, there were 500 secondary schools. In his time, he has added 200 schools, even if that was. So, I don't want to use the word truth. He is the fountain of honor of this country. Even if that was so, all we are saying is that relate it to the amount of money you have had to expend. That is the crux. That is the core of, 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 the, of, 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 of what uh, Dr. Baumia is saying. That if you take it in, in real terms, 2009, you're borrowing. At that time, the exchange rate was this. 2010... 2011, 2012, 2013. This is how much has come through. His Excellency, I'm saying that if today all you can talk about is I've done infrastructure development, we are saying that relates. We are not saying that talk about the current, how much it is today. Tomorrow, that figure will change. But we are saying that you have had opportunity to have this much. Does it? And you have not been satisfied. And you have not been satisfied with the level of infrastructure development. No, I mean, that is all we are saying. Okay. You are saying that you have done this. If what you do, if you cost it, does it come up to it? Mm.
Now, now, now Samali, but for the president again to mention it, it means that he's very much worried about, uh, where, where I don't know whether it's the content of the messages or communication from the opposition, and the level of criticism against, say, his government, that uh, we seem to have borrowed so much, but they don't seem to think that the quantum of the borrowing is commensurate to what the state of infrastructure is. So um, my colleague should also be patient when I'm talking because it will be uncomfortable for him. Now, he's not said anything uncomfortable. Yeah, but uh, knowing him, I know he will interject. <laughs> now, this is the point. If you are in opposition and you want to lie your way into power. By what means do you say? By lying. If you want to come to power by lying then clearly you must be stopped. And that is the attitude that the president is putting across. He's not saying that you shouldn't campaign. But if you want to lie your way through, he will check you. Between Dr. Baumia, who left the Bank of Ghana eight years ago, and the president, who receives daily briefings from the current Bank of Ghana governor, mm -hmm. whom should we believe? If you have two women, one in the kitchen and the other not in the kitchen and you want to find out how the food is being prepared do you go and find out from the woman who is not in the kitchen is do, do you find out from the woman who is not in the kitchen or you find out from the woman who is cooking the food you see nigerians <laughs> are now facing some challenge you know that yes because an opposition leader. One, they've had budget overruns for some time. An, now. an opposition and now, leader lied his way into power. Oh, well, that's not a fair it's comment. It's not a fair comment. Now, you it's have a, a similar. A similar. You, voted, you, 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 for you, you have a similar. You think that was a fair you, comment? You, you, you have a similar situation here. It's not a fair comment. Where an opposition leader. We have a, a wants, similar situation likely to happen. A similar situation here where an opposition leader wants to lie his way. We in government, unlike the Nigerian uh, good luck, who did not stop it. We will he check them. We will check them. See, the president said that from Nkrumah's time to now, our desktop is 24 million plus. Billion. Billion plus. Mm. Dollars. dollars. Yeah, in dollars. Between Baunia and Nana Kufado, there has been two figures. There's 34 billion. But we have an insight of Nana Kufado the, mentioning the, the, 37. Uh, th then you have 37. 24. Now, which of the two is the greatest liar? Everybody which of the two? Everybody which of the two? Which of the two is lying? Everybody which of the two? Yeah. Even within the MPP. Now, I read something from uh, uh, Mustafa Hamid <laughs> saying that if the president said Nanaku Fadu lied, he passed the back to Baumia. That, that figure came from Baumia. So, within themselves, they are now passing the back and saying that Nanaku Fadu lied because Baumia lied to him. This cannot be. We know that you want to come. There's desperation. Nana Kufado has gone on three times. He has no campaign message. His campaign message is now, we are begging you, Swamishwe, Swamishwe. This is the campaign message. But, Mr. Amaliba, but the criticism against, don't uh, lie. against this type of message that you tend to communicate yes. uh, each day is that it's what, which one? Um, you just seem to be trivializing the issue about how serious are debt uh, stock to GDP Precisely. ratio. No, why are we trivializing it? We are giving the because look, it was you know you in know, silly you terms you, you it's know, in excess you, of you know you can't go for 2015 you know, because we didn't get enough you know, of the revenue you know and, you know you can't go to right. parliament and lie he's a, he's a parliamentarian when you appear in parliament you must give a true and accurate picture and you're saying in, the, in the budget that the finance minister sent mm -hmm. the figure was 24 million plus a little billion billion our jet uh, debt stock GDP. Eh? To, when to you GDP. compare, mm. eh? it's 69 point something, 15 percent, come down from 70 something. We are reducing our desktop. He is in parliament. They read the thing to you. So let's be fair to the facts. You see, you can be sleeping, pretend to be sleeping, but waking you up will be difficult. Mm. Are they saying that they've not seen the developmental projects going across this country? The massive airports. The, the, Kumasi airport that, the Kumasi airport that you couldn't fly in the night to come to Accra. But or the anywhere. Is, again, now, now, but the question is that it's been, uh, it seemed to have been on no, the high side. I sitting here know and their game plan. You, you see, I sitting here know their game plan. The first time I was saying that, oh, they, you've collected so much, we've not seen anything. 
when we compile our green book and showed it to the evidence-based approach, they now came that, oh, no, they, uh, yeah, they are there, but these projects have been inflated. Yeah, one, what they want to say is that, they want to tell the people of this country is that, if we had given you one borehole, they want to tell the people that this could have been three boreholes. One could Mr. be at the corner there, Yaku, one could Mr. be Mr. Here, is, trying to is it poo, -poo, poo poo our the, uh, the environmental is it wrong? Is it wrong to have, uh, to be indebted highly at the rate at which we have? If we know that uh, um, we have commensurate infrastructure to, to perhaps the, account the, for. The, I don't, there the is. Because there are many countries in the world, for is example, South. Saudi Arabia, okay, we can compare ourselves to Saudi Arabia. No, let, let's no but uh, yeah, it is clear. Let's, there are some countries which, uh, whose debt portfolio but rates are, rates. Are, are, are higher than, rates are rates. They are mm -hmm. higher than their But, but I, I just, is it wrong, generally? Is it wrong? I don't think that every, every business because, person... Because, because we're not Djibouti. I'm not, I'm, okay, are you done? Can I'm I done, ask, I'm done. Can I ask I'm done. First mm -hmm. and foremost, let me say, that you see, I think it is unfair for Amalba to sit here and talk about what happened in Nigeria that a leader lied. I think that it is, it is, it is to say the least, it is, it is insulting to the good people of Nigeria. He, he has no business. He, Abraham has no business speaking this way about the good people of Nigeria. Maybe. They made their choices. In Buhari. And we learn they, from, they made, we learn from the mistakes choices. of others. What, 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 we what, learn what, from what the mistakes. The Look, we but learn from look, the mistakes look, of look others. At, look at the stink. Look at the rot that Jonathan perpetrated on Nigeria. Uh, look at the suki gate. Look, look at, look at the stink. Uh, look at the rot. Just yesterday, that, I was that, reading that, about that some, some unaccountable, unaccountable fancy oil. Three point three trillion naira. And when you steal all this money, when you dissipate all this money, and you leave the coffers empty for this man to come, you turn around and say that the, the good people of Nigeria. Are you saying that problems. is what is happening? That is what he said. I'm saying, are you saying that's what happened in Ghana? That when a oh, comes by 2017? That is what will happen, but we will manage it. We will fix it. But having said that, having said that, let me go to... to, to. You see, I think that you have made a point. I think it is, it, is, it, is, it is insulting to the good people of this country this time to trivialize the situation. We have an overhang that is so huge 99 billion Ghana cities is huge. We have a debt overhang that is so huge for you to sit and say that, uh, uh, and, and, and so what? That is not even what we are saying. We, have we are not talking about the figure today. We are saying, and let me re-emphasize, let me re-ash, that we are saying that this government has had opportunity in dollar terms, have had an exposure come to them. 37 b billion. And we are saying that it does not, what we see, does not come, let them account for it. To say this, why? We don't have a right. And, 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 uh, and, and, and I, 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 it is, for me, it is a very simple matter. We are not asking for anything more. They have put out the green book. We are saying that. And, and it is also wrong that you think that we have changed. The goalposts we have never, from time immemorial, since 22009, since 20, Bobia started all these lectures, he has always said that our level of borrowing is high. Does not commensurate to what we. Yeah, when they pu publish a first list, they, he said that when he calculates whatever they have put out as their flagship projects, it came to 4.7 billion. But if you have How debts, did he calculate? Are they figures now, attached now, to now, the green book? I want to ask you. I want to ask you. We have to ask that. That, so we that, have that to bridge, that but overpass is, is in excess of 170 billion. But you say you so don't know how much it costs. So we have to wrap up. You talk about it. So we have to wrap up. So we have to wrap up. Um, do, is this going to form a core of the messages in this election hearing on, on all sides? Is it going to be a thrust of the message? Well, I, 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 don't, I think, I don't know for mm. NDC. Mm. I, I really and truly don't know for NDC. I think when the president spoke on TV3, he was asked, and he said that they are working out... Uh, some uh, modalities. Some, some campaign manifesto, and it was not time for him to discuss it. I am certain that beyond telling the good people of this country that Oh, we built a bridge here. We built the overpass here. We built the school here. We did this. 
this government has nothing else to tell the good people of this country. All right. But I want to remind them mm. that His Excellency the President in 2008, when he was Vice Presidential candidate, up. stated clearly that yeah. every government... Emmanuel every government does this uh, end that one. Things. Okay. And, and that if you Emmanuel do, Tremantin it is an exercise in mediocrity. Emmanuel Tremantin Ejako is a member of parliament for Ayawaso West Wagon constituency. He's been in the studio alongside Abraham Amaliba, who is a member of the NDC's legal and communication teams. We're taking a break. When we come back, Gladys Oredo will be here to give us a lot more entertainment. We are building airports.